Hi everybody, this is the combo card, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the hunter. Welcome back to the combo card. I hope you like this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about here, now as your host, I have sort of walked away from the industry, but I know a lot of people that are putting themselves through a lot of abuse, <laughs> reading these comic books, from DC Comics and Marvel Comics and the rest of the mainstream, they're not mainstream, it's a misnomer. Uh, but I have for you a great article from uh, Phantom Pulse. The, the, you got the editor-in-chief and creator of the, the site. Uh, John Delarossi wrote this article. I would mention, uh, I don't write, I don't read Bound in the Comics anymore. I've been reading a Phantom Pulse, and they, they're ahead of the game. Uh, and I recommend that you read them and book, bookmark it on your phone or whatever, on your computer. Um uh, He's, he's put out a lot of great articles, a lot, um, and they've really helped this channel come back a little bit, or more than a little bit, a lot. So well, we're going to uh, reference them a lot. Usually I say when, when we talk about the writers, it doesn't matter, but with this particular site, I always acknowledge the writer, and obviously here we have writer John Del Rose. Uh Headline, DC Comics lowers the bar with black lesbians... <laughs> And transgender gorilla and nonsensical fight. What? Transgender gorilla. You know, the gorillas and all the animal kingdom, they don't have a problem with their gender. They're not into this communist monkey crap. No, no pun intended. When it comes to this transgender nonsense. And nonsensical fire and ice. Welcome to Smallville. Oh boy. DC Comms has been creating content lately, making it look like Company's intentionally trying to sink itself. They are. Because these people are satanic. They cannot create. They can only destroy. From Mariko Tamaki writing a self-insert Supergirl special where Kara struggles with imposter syndrome and depression. To Tom King's Wonder Woman. Go ahead and read that. Where Diana is grooming a cancer-laden child. Comic book fans wonder how things can get worse. Or they can get a lot worse. Look no further than Fire and Ice. Welcome to Smallville number 5 for the answer. There's been a running joke about DC Comics among comic book fans. To try to name a DC character who hasn't been turned gay. And Fire and Ice is no exception. While the two leads have awkward moments where it implies they have a secret lesbian romance. I also have a side character who openly engages in black lesbian fornication with fire looks on, smirking about it like she's into the situation. Oh boy, this is really weird. This flies in the face of the original character, Beatrice DaCosta, who was introduced in DC Comics Presents number 46, 1982. The character was a devout Catholic before it was taken over by the modern YA writer, Joanne Starrer who was writing similar self-insert characters and not paying attention to the history of DC Comics, much like other DC creators. They don't read those comics. That's, that's the issue. They don't read it. They get a certain synopsis from DC or Marvel, whatever, and they make their own garbage. They don't care. Remember, they all say that history doesn't matter to them. So they just throw this out the window. Remember, Always remember that. Fire and Ice comes off the heels of Alan Scott Green Lantern, where Tim Sheridan turned Alan Scott into a degenerate who trolls for male prostitutes. My God. Down at local hookup points in the most recent issue number three. Beyond both being terrible books, Fire and Ice and Alan Scott Green Lantern have more in common. They were initially slated to be ongoing series and then revised to limited series upon poor sales. DC Comics seems to care little for sales as Fire and Ice Welcome to Smallville number 5 gets even cringier than the lesbian lip smacking in issue number 4. In this issue first reported by Wes from Thinking Critical on YouTube, a, a wheelchair-bound disabled character gets robbed by a transgender gorilla. <laughs> this is insane. And is forced to apologize for using sex as a weapon even while he's getting held up. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. This is insane. This is insane. West report saying most people can't write this bad on purpose. FML. 
Hundreds of comments flowed, followed, echoing the YouTube's YouTube's sentiments about the poor quality of the book. Oh my goodness. The page features the gorilla prominently. Oh, well, it's the gorilla in the room. It's the monkey in the room. <laughs> and it's very clear the animal is a male of the species. While the characters make a point of calling him she, repeatedly to gaslight the readers into accepting their narrative. Fire and ice welcome to Smallville's bad writing isn't just noticed by right-wing culture war commentators. It's usually universally panned across the internet. Even access reveals like Weird Science, DC Comics report, that comic, that this comic is a mess. Writer Joanne Starrer is under terror of her push for sexual fetishes in comics that are geared towards children with their Archie style art. She commented one reader on X stating, Oh, thank you. I really hope there will be more lichen. Linka, more female gorillas. Indicating her desire for more transgender animals in the comic. There is no transgender animals in reality. These are people that are delusional. Okay? There's n just like in, in the in the human world, there's no trans anything. It's one or the other. It's two. There is no in-between. There's no, like, I don't know. There's only two. Okay? And I will say this. If you're transitioning an animal, that's animal cruelty. This woman is perpetuating animal cruelty. You do not do that to an animal. You do not do that to a child. You do not do that to any man or woman. And it's a sin. Against God. Fire and Ice, welcome to Smallville, has to be one of the most worst examples of DC Comics, identity politics destroying characters, which says a lot given its recent history. What do you think of Joanne Starter's, Starter's Fire and Ice? Welcome to Monkey Crap. I mean, welcome to Smallville of DC Comics. Well, you can leave a. Well, I would mention this. I have a lot going on here, quite frankly. And the comments are going to be off the channel. For quite a while. So if you want to leave comments. I appreciate you wanting to leave comments. But I do not have. Um, the time. To uh, go through. Got a lot of stuff going on here. If you don't know. But I do appreciate it. Once the channel is, is monetized. The, the comments will come back. So. You let me know what you think about that. Or I can't let you tell me. So man. I am contradicting myself, which I do a lot of here. But this is insane. Uh, trans again, transgender gorillas. It's, it's, it's cruelty to animals, quite frankly. So, you let me know what you think, if you can. Sorry about that. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you later.